That's one. Uh, the next piece is talking about the, uh, the enforcement events that can ensue if a rugby match takes place in a rubber time. So, what happens is I had to do a lot of formative research on leprosy and rugby. Two subjects I knew little to nothing about. It was much easier to get a, a grasp on leprosy than it was rugby. Mm -hmm. I found it as befuddling as cricket to try to understand the rules, but I managed to pick up a few terms and cobble them together to try to assemble some some comprehensible problem, hopefully. So uh, this is about a, uh, a leprosorium's rugby team and uh, how much is just a terrible idea to can play rugby the rugby team. The tragedy of shame bacteremia leprosorium rugby league. The same bacteria in the leprosor and rugby league had an impeccable record owing to the great difficulty in finding the competitor. Far and wide, there was not a team which was overly eager to meet the scrappy results on the rugby pitch. For common parlance of the game, such as handover, ball, and conversion, heaven knows took on an unnerving import when playing against one's leprous foes. This best blood was off that edge. All took a turn for the gasoline with foreboding doom when thrown off course just outside of Rangoon. For it was here the persnickety periwinkle steamer became quite lost now. They played their match at King Factorini instead of Auckland. The match was lengthy to say the least, taking the better part of the day. What with the periwinkle's frequent applications of arsenic mm -hmm. and heliobor after each play. I'd like to say the bazaars gave as they got. Though the periwinkle's limbs scattered about the pitch, they claimed it or not. For no time at all, it's no small wonder. They were just beside themselves each to every other. Yet the scrapulous ours were going all to pieces about their impending defeat, foremost being arms, followed by feet. The periwinkles had to forfeit, despite the margin by which they led, for by this time it was ours with a little more than force of the pets. With that we bring the tragedy of St. Bacterium and Rugby League to the club, and the origins of that expression. The sound of the rugby match, the leper colony, the beach now in Africa. Words scattered. Yeah. Words scattered. Yeah, so Bazaar is, uh, they were called Bazaar houses. So Lazarus is like the patron saint of lepers. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have them have a mascot and then something that's a little so scrappy. They're scrappy, but they're also scrappy. <laughs> no, 